Clovis, California, very cool. NYC, what up, Andy? Awesome, got some people tuning in via phone call, very cool. Other people coming in from everywhere, Kansas, Riga, love it. Love people coming in from kind of all over the place. Detroit, love it. Um, actually, also, let me know where you found Live a Great Story from. I'm really curious. Live a Great Story tends to pop up in really cool ways from kind of all over the place. So I would love to see. Um, go ahead and comment right there. And, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and get this kicked off here. So let me know where you found Live a Great Story and how long you've been following for. And then we're going to kick this off. Um, I'm going to actually go ahead and turn my screen off so I can screen share and show you all a little bit. Of, we're going to walk through a presentation. It um, can be a little bit distracting since uh, looking at me and trying to read stuff. So I'm going to turn that off. Um, Facebook, about a year. Very cool. Facebook. A lot of Facebookers on here. Um, has anybody found it in person? Always curious about that. Seeing a sticker or a friend giving you something. That was a cool um, experience too. Um, found it through my friend Caesar. Yeah. Yeah, Caesar's the man. Oh, Caesar, he's, he's here in Austin. Um, we have a question. I have no audio. Cool. Um, I'm also going to share this poll real quick. So here's uh, this poll. What's causing you the most doubt? Uh, so this is about overcoming your doubts to find your next breakthrough. And so I'm curious, I'm gonna kind of tailor this a little bit towards um, what you found, um, where you're finding the most doubt, the most um, resistance to moving forward and some clarity. Uh, Brittany says she saw a sticker and researched a company. Now I shared them with so many people. That is the coolest. Thank you so much. Um, that is awesome. Uh, all right, so we have some career doubt. We have some business doubt, uncertainty of the future, community, very cool. Thanks for all the answers. Um, uncertainty of the future. Cool. That is a, that is a big one. Um, that's, that's always a little bit of a tricky one. So uncertainty of the future and then career. Those are both good. Uh, all right, cool. Well, I'm going to go ahead and kick this off um, in that poll. Uncertainty of the future one. So there we go. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and kick this off. Awesome. So today we're going to be talking all about four steps to overcoming doubt and finding your next big breakthrough. And so um, as all of this is going down, you can definitely like comment and um, share some of the questions. If you're you know, resonating with what I'm talking about, definitely um, drop me a comment and let me know more about it. So, um, but let's go ahead and go. Uh, so in this, we're going to talk about how to go from feeling doubtful and uncertain to feeling motivated and confident about where you're going. And let me tell you, I definitely resonate with this a bunch because I, um, this is a really, really a repeated process. So many of us go through this all the time and sometimes you're really clear on where you are and sometimes you get becoming a little bit more doubtful. And so, um, that's what we're going to talk about. And I want you to stay with me to the end because a lot of the things we get to we are going to talk about today also are part of what we're doing here with Live a Great Story. So I kind of want to share with you more of what that looks like um, all the way at the end of this. So definitely hang around with me to the end. And while you're watching this, definitely turn off all the distractions. I know how it can be with your phone or you know some of the other screens that are open and some of the other tabs on your browser. If you're like me, you probably have hundreds of tabs open all the time. Uh, so just go ahead and try to silence all of those so we can stick with it. Uh, and I want to let you know that you're in the right place if um, you are living a great story. I know that you're on that journey and you know it's, it's a continuous journey, but right now maybe you're just in a little bit of a slump. Maybe you're a little bit, um, just a little bit down, right? Like looking for a little bit more of that clarity and you know you're doing it, you know you've been on there for a while, but maybe just at this moment, maybe in this season of time, you're not feeling so good. Uh, so if you resonate with that, go ahead and drop me a, a yes in the, in the chat. Um, or maybe, uh, maybe you think that your next step is just slightly out of your reach. If you're like right there and you're like, man, if I could just get there, there's that next step um, of finding that, um, getting out of that slump. And, and uh, so, yeah, go ahead and comment. Um, and also, you're definitely in the right spot if you're ready to do the work to crank up on your story. If you're ready to go 
and really put in the effort to get focused, to keep moving, to keep rocking it, um, then you're definitely in the right spot. So if you're ready to go ahead and do that, drop me some exclamation points. If you're ready to hop in and, and make this your, uh, do the work and make some stuff happen, let's do it. Uh, but for wh whatever reason you're here, I support you. Live a Great Story is all about inspiring you to be the hero of your story. And so that's really what this whole journey is about, what our brand's about. And we just want to inspire you to be the author of your story and feel awesome about that. So th that's why we're here. And if you're here for that, I totally support you in moving forward. Uh, so my story really, a lot of this goes back to my uncertainty. This is me back in 2012. Uh, hopping on a plane to go to Europe and I was you know I pretty much have always been on this entrepreneurial creative journey uh, but at 22 I didn't really know what that looked like and I hopped on a plane to go figure it out and I ended up traveling for about seven months and when I came back from traveling and just connecting with all these people from around the world um, the phrase live a great story popped out of it uh, and actually shout out to Vesma over there in Riga. I, I spent a good amount of time in Riga and got to connect with some really cool people in that side of the world, um, up in the, the Baltics. But um, so I came back from traveling and this is what I spray painted on a wall. And little did I know that people started spreading this message. People started taking pictures of it and it really started spreading far and wide. So it started with some stickers, some buttons, shirts, flags, uh, now people have tattoos, there's murals all across the country, and uh, it's just been a really cool experience to keep it, or to see it spread, and it really never has stopped spreading, it just keeps going. So a lot of y'all said that, you know, maybe you found this on Facebook, or maybe you found it out in the real world, uh, but, but this is, um, you know, people have done really cool things with it. You can see these art pieces, people, um, especially teachers, love live a great story, we have a lot of awesome teachers that are spreading it, nurses. Um, travelers, entrepreneurs, it's really a diverse community. And so over the last, over five years now, um, Live Great Stories have been all about inspiring such a wide range of people. And so I've got to talk to so many different types of people about their stories, about what they're working on, about the struggles that they're, um, they're dealing with and how they're trying to live their own great story. And so um, through that process, I've, you know, we hosted our conference over here on the left, Someone mentioned Caesar. That's where uh, he came out to the conference. And then I also got to speak at TEDx last year here in Austin. And I just love talking to people about their stories and really listening to people uh, about their stories, what they're going through, because that inspires me so much when other people are on their journey. Um, so if y'all know the story, let me know. Go ahead and comment if you, if you knew most of this or if you're new to Live a Great Story and you didn't know kind of this story, let me know. How much of this you've uh, you've got to you've you've seen or heard about from from my journey, um, but I also want you to take a second to think about what it feels like when you have that clarity. So when you're, you know, when just take a deep breath and and give it a second to think about what it feels like when you know exactly what you're doing and what you what the the energy that you have that that confidence. Um, take a take a second to tune into that because I think it's really important. Sometimes we get kind of caught up in the moment and overwhelmed with um, all these opportunities and stuff. But if you just think about it, I think one thing we realize is that uh, we actually have a lot of this info inside of us. And so it's just really, a, you know, mainly what I'm going to top into today is these four steps are things you probably already know, but just a reminder. Uh, but you're probably here because maybe you're doubting your skills. And a lot of y'all said um, in, you know, maybe your career, you have some doubt or maybe in your business, and, and sometimes that can manifest in doubting your skills and abilities, or sometimes it's about doubting like your, your time, right? You don't have the time to commit to something, you're really busy, you're building something. Um, if, you, if you feel like you don't have time, go ahead and comment, um, drop, me, drop me a yes in there, or even a hell yes, because I know that time is, is such a valuable resource, and sometimes it feels like all of our time uh, totally disappears. <laughs> so um, go ahead and drop me a, a time emoji too if you want. Uh, and then sometimes it's just, I don't know where I'm going. Some of y'all mentioned just like a general doubt or uncertainty of the future. And that can, that can be, uh, that can be doubtful, you know, and it's hard to see the future and not know exactly what that looks like and have so much like a cloud. It's like, it's like a, it's like a, a fog of uncertainty. 
Um, Brandy says she's a 45 year old mom of three back in school. I wanted to find the fountain of time. <laughs> yes. Congrats, Brady, on that. Um, we're all looking for the fountain of time, and, and uh, <laughs> I, I can relate to that. Uh, but regardless of what those obstacles are, I want you to remember that this is your story. You are the hero of your story, and at any point, you have the total opportunity to pick up that pen and start writing the story the exact way that you want. This is your story. You can make it great. You can make it happen you can change, you can course correct, you can make that difference to readjust your story and really be the author of your story. And today that's what we're going to talk about. Uh, and then everyone goes through these doubts and uncertainty and everybody on the route, me included, so many people in this group, so many people in the community, we all go through these doubts, uncertainty and fear. But it's really about what you do with those feelings that sets you apart from the status quo. Uh, Brandy, I'm heading into my 50s. I feel you had two teens with only a couple of years left in school. One of the things that I love about this community, thank you so much, Brandy and Bobby, for hopping in there and commenting, is the diversity of the Live a Great Story community. And it's so cool to have um, such a wide range of people from different walks of life because this is what happens. People connect, they learn from each other, and they share. And it's, um, you know, everyone's going through these doubts and uncertainty, whether in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, you know, you're retired or you're graduating from college. Everybody goes through this, but we each have the opportunity to take action and um, move forward and be the hero of our story. And I just want to remind you that you're here because you want to be the hero of your story and you want to overcome those doubts and you want to overcome what you're dealing with so that you can tap back into being the hero of your story. And the first step to making that happen is generalizing the future and then laser focusing the now. And for me, I always like to take some time to think about what is the type of life, like think five years, 10 years, 20 years down the road, or even you know, however far you want to go out, think about what kind of life do I want to live? How do I want to spend my time? What's my perfect day look like? Uh, who do I want to spend my time with? What's my flow? What do I love doing? These questions are so important when it's times of uncertainty to kind of plant that, you know, that stance of what is, where am I actually going? What does this look like in the future? And let me tell you, I do this often. And especially right now, uh, I, I totally relate to going through these questions and thinking about where do I go? I'm about to turn 30. My birthday is in like a month. And so, you know, it's a kind of a big milestone. And so for me, I've, you know, gone through and I'm still going through looking at what, do I actually feel about these? Uh, what are my answers to these questions? Um, so if you're, you know, which, which one of these questions resonates most to you? And when's the last time that you actually took some time to answer them? Uh, and I think when you do that, you're going to realize that don't stress about it, right? Like don't freak out. If you don't have totally clear answers about it, don't worry. These are, that's why I say generalize the future because these answers to these questions are always going to change. Um, and they're going to evolve and they're going to grow. So as long as you like look far enough out to be able to think about what this can look like in the future and just give yourself some time to think about it, don't stress. Uh, also, another big part of this is what do I not want in my life? Sometimes when we're asking ourselves those other questions, it can be hard to exactly pinpoint what we do want. But it's important to also ask ourselves, what do we not want? Because sometimes in this, in this experience, it's hard to narrow down the focus, but it's a lot easier to say, no, I don't want to feel out of time. No, I don't want you know, to spend my time with people that suck me down or to work a job that's really stressful, or I don't want you know, health problems that I could have taken a, like, more focus on, or I don't want to be in a, in a career that's unsatisfying. So thinking about that when you're answering your questions and the hard truth is that the things you really want probably aren't things. When you take some time to look at these questions of what kind of life I want to live, how do I want to spend my time, you're going to realize that they're probably not things. Uh, thinking about the feelings, the emotions, the experiences, most likely that's what's going to come out of this, right? It's like we want to spend time with good people. We want to spend time with um 
and doing things that we love and that excite us. You know, we want to have freedom. You know, it's not like most of the time when you really get introspective and you go deep, you're going to realize that you're actually chasing stuff that you most likely are putting off. If you're thinking about these feelings, one day I might feel like this um, or down the road, I can't wait until this happens so that I can actually do this one thing. And so um, don't put those off. Think about what those are today and laser focus on what kind of life do I want today? How do I want to spend my time today? What's my perfect day look like today? Uh, because when you can actually take action on your day to day, that's the, pretty much the only thing that we have control over. And so um, thinking about that is really a big step to focusing on this. And you have control over what your day looks like. You might not have control over your future, but you have control over today. Um, I was, I don't know if y'all saw this on Instagram this last weekend, but my friend released a book uh, and it says, and she just wrote a book that says, uh, you might die tomorrow, so live today. And so I always think about that. It's like we have no control over the past. We have no control over the future. But if we think about those focuses that we want in our day-to-day -day life, you can totally focus on that and make sure that you're doing what you want today and also not doing what you don't want. But go ahead and give me some exclamation points. If, if this is resonating with you, let me know what you think about this. And if you're thinking you know, really far out to the future, um, or even thinking about today, let me know what you're thinking about and, and give me some explanation points. There we go, Brandy. Awesome. Thank you, Bobby. Very cool. Um, and, and, you know, we have this, we can do this at any time. And so I love, I love the engagement here and the, the, the feedback. So um, one of the things that comes out of this is that great stories don't happen out there. When I was um, great stories happen here every day, right? Day after day after day. And this is a kind of a new, you know, in, in going through the same process for myself, I realized this about like for the last couple of years, you know, live a great story. We talk a lot about travel. We talk a lot about adventure and kind of these kind of big lifestone milestones. But I realized that great stories happen between when you wake up and when you go to sleep. And that's where you really have the opportunity to craft your story on a day-to-day -day basis. And so day after day after day after day, it's about making that choice to tune in with yourself and really align with your journey so that you can be um, on that route from when you wake up, when you go to sleep every day. And so taking that idea is the next step is really charting your course. So you, when you kind of have this idea of where you want to go down the, down the road, like in the future, down the path, the next step is rewinding it back and taking that daily, taking those daily steps to move forward. So when you're thinking about what are the things that make you excited, what are those life, you know, situations that you enjoy, those experiences, that kind of inspiring, you know, motivating energy what are those daily steps that you can take on those day-to-day -day actions? So maybe it's waking up a bit earlier, uh, meditating, you know, being gra grateful and uh, practicing gratitude with like a gratitude journal, or um, maybe it's about getting your ideas out and, and really accomplishing your number one thing first thing in the morning. You know, think about what are those steps that move you forward on a day-to-day -day basis. Let me know what y'all do. Do you have like a morning routine that you start off your day with? Um, if you do have a morning routine, go ahead and comment in the, in the chat uh, that what are those things that you, when you wake up, that you start your day off with that positivity, that motivation, and that inspiration to keep moving forward. Dana is uh, meditating. Um, very cool. I, I start my day off most of the time with a run. And then I also write, um, I write, with my morning pages. So I just grab a pen, some white paper, and I write. Uh, try to listen to a podcast. That's definitely a great way to, to check it out and to, to tune in to what you're doing, Bobby. Um, and the thing about the day-to-day -day focus is when you can start stringing these, these ideas together, when you start um, focusing on what you can do on the day-to-day, -day, what does your day look like? When you're overcoming that doubt and feeling confident, how does that feel, right? Like getting clear on thinking when you felt that way before, right now in the moment, it's probably hard. You're at, you're feeling doubtful, you're feeling discouraged, you're feeling down. Try to remember what it feels like when you're feeling tuned in, when you're feeling aligned. 
do that, right? Remember to make that happen. Include that in your day-to-day -day so that you can start practicing that energy because that's how you, like, if, you're, if you know that this is going to make you happy, if you know that this is going to help boost your confidence, if this is going to make you, you know, feel better about your journey, then do it, right? And it's like a, such a simple thing, but sometimes we forget to just take those small steps, the deep breaths, the gratitude, the meditation, you know, the text message to someone that we care about. Um, those are the important things that happen on a day-to-day -day basis. And so um, when you make a plan to take those small but deliberate steps, that's how you move forward. Once again, great stories don't happen out there. They happen in here day to day, right? And so when you have that plan to maybe meditate in the morning every day or journal or, you know, just take some deep breaths and, and not, not check your phone first thing or not check your emails, just take some time to uh, breathe through, breathe into the day and then make sure that you check off those things that are important for you today. That's how you build momentum and action conquers the fear, right? When, when you, even if they're really small things, take five deep breaths, stretch, you know, roll around on the floor and, and do happy baby pose or whatever it is, right? That action starts conquering the fear. And as you start taking more and more action, overcoming more and more fear, the momentum starts building up. And that's how you start overcoming doubt. When you have some wins underneath your belt and you're feeling good about what you're doing and you're feeling those, those, that, uh, like that momentum, then you start realizing that what do you have to doubt? You're crossing things off. You're feeling good. You're feeling stoked. Then, then you're realizing that those doubts probably are, are not, they're not permanent. You realize that you can actually take action to overcome them. Uh, and through this journey, right, the next step out of this is really about breaking your ideas because we have these steps and you start listening to a podcast, you start, you know, meditating, you start journaling, you start checking off these small wins. Um, but sure enough, you're going to probably fail. You're going to, you know, find that maybe what you're trying to do isn't working. You journal for every day for a week and then you fail. Let me know if y'all have encountered the failure. If you started something, you've been so inspired by something and then you, you, you know, it all of a sudden starts falling apart and you're not, you're not, it just start, stops working. Um, yep. And I know we all face failure and, and it's part of the journey. Constant fear of failing, Andy says. Here's the cool thing about this, Andy. It's a good thing to fail. If you are failing, we have, that means you're trying stuff. It means you're moving forward. It means you're breaking stuff. And so what is the most important part about this is, is realizing that failure is a good thing. Great stories are stories of failure because so when you fail, it actually gives you the opportunity to flex that muscle and to overcome that failure to practice courage and perseverance. And great stories are really all about courage and perseverance. If you're facing obstacles, if you're scared, you know, if you're, you know, you're facing this situation that you're not certain of, you're, you need that courage and you need that confidence to keep going and the way that you develop that is through going through it and so finding you know andy especially you know if you have a constant fear of failing thinking about what are those small ways that you can practice failing like fail forward and really embrace failure as not as a as a deterrent or a distraction but more of like a compass right like i always think about fear it's like what are you worried about what is what is that kind of deep fear using that to point you towards what you're going towards is so powerful because when you start realizing that every time you're afraid of something, it probably is a good indicator of exactly where you should go. And so Andy, especially when you're failing about something, you're, you're, you have this fear of failure. It's like, how can you start practicing that to build that, those small wins to start overcoming uh, that fear of failure? And so uh, now onto the next step. This is the most important step because while you're, you know, you're, you have this idea of where you're going, you have this kind of distant future, you're taking action, you're making your, you know, you're moving forward in your story and then you're, you're practicing um, the failing forward and you're practicing your momentum. The best step that's going to help you do this and that's going to really support you on this journey is the people that you surround yourself with. Um, 
it's really about who are around you that encourage you to keep going. It's about encouraging you, you know, the people that support your failures, the, the, the people that encourage you when you fall down, that you stumble, um, the people that make you think differently and that give you insights. Um, and the people that support you through that journey, because really the rising tide lifts all ships. This is such an important thing that I realized through the Live a Great Story journey and through all of this is that doing this with other people is the best way. Because when you're on this route with other people who are pushing their comfort zones, they're overcoming their failures, they're moving through their doubt, you know, they're striving, they're making stuff happen. When you can relate with those people and you're both on this journey, it's such a powerful opportunity to connect and to support other people. And then they'll in turn support you. When you're a part of a community where everyone is writing their own great story, you have no choice but to do the same. Sometimes when we're, you know, maybe at work or in our social circles, we realize that you know, maybe we stick out. Maybe we're not the same as others. Maybe that we're, we're a little bit different and we're, we're pushing our comfort zones. We're taking some risks that others, let me know if you ever felt like this. If for some reason you, you feel like you don't fit into your community, you know, you're, 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 you're looking for some of those right, like those like-minded people who are on the same track as you, who are moving forward, who want to do that, right? Let me go ahead and comment because I know I felt like this a bunch and I've, I've, been in so many situations where I'm like, I, these just aren't my people, right? And they're not, they're not really pushing their comfort zones. They're not striving as much as I am. Let me know if you, if you felt this and you can relate to this situation. So I want to ask you, do you want to join a community of like-minded people who are living their own great stories together? Is that something that you want? I'm inviting you to join these people because I know you're here and you're ready to pick up that pin and write your great story because I that's why you're here you you want to overcome doubt you want to keep moving forward you want to keep being the hero of your story and I know you're here because you are doing it it's just about taking it to the next level and it's about putting into action this planning this strategy these goals and surrounding yourself with the good people because your next chapter is going to be epic i know that you're just right there from from finding out from unlocking that next step and you might just need that boost to get ramped back up and to to really tap into your journey so really here you have two choices at this point when you're facing the fear when you have the doubt you can retreat to the status quo and regret it forever, right? Like you've probably felt this where you've, you've, you've faced something or you're facing a doubt and you're, un, you're unsure of what's going to happen and you just, you just accept it and you don't push that comfort zone, right? And you can either make that choice right now with feeling this or you can join the Live a Great Story community to embrace your story and move forward through your doubt and uncertainty to be the hero of your story. And so really I'm inviting you to join the Live a Great Story community because we're here to support like-minded people who are pushing forward and, and making it their mission to be the hero of their story. And I'm, let me tell you, we're doing some really cool stuff that is going to inspire you to move forward and to be the hero of your story. There's so many amazing people in our communities from so many walks of life, so many backgrounds from entrepreneurship to creativity to community impact. We have family, like parents, we have kids graduating from college, you know, we have everybody in between empty nesters all the way to, you know, career professionals blazing their trail and everyone in between. And it's so inspiring to hear people like and what their story is. And so I want to share a little bit about what we're doing to inside of this community. And so we just rolled this out and it's a little bit complex, but the Live a Great Story community is kind of a mixture of Instagram. It's kind of like a Facebook group. It's a little bit of a Slack and, and also events with really just inspiring people who are living a great story. So if this is, you know, if this is resonating with you. If you, you know, have seen this maybe through our social media, if you've, if you've 
if you're part of the Facebook group even, um, and you've seen this and you've tasted the group, the, 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 the people who are part of Live a Great Story, go ahead and comment because I'm curious if y'all experienced this maybe in person or online and have got to feel the energy of what happens when you connect like-minded people together because I, I really like that's why we're here is to bring people together who are doing this. Um, because the energy that happens when everybody is is so stoked, they're inspired, they're moving forward is really magnetic, and it has such an impact on people. Uh, so the Live Great Story community really breaks down. What's awesome is that it's on an app, and so it's not on a Facebook, it's not on some other, you know, distracting social media. It's a standalone app that gives you your own profile. You can see my profile over here. Uh, we also have these topics, so it allows you to kind of self-group into these different areas and, and lots of other cool ways to um, engage with the community. So over here, Kelly asked a question about travel, and it was cool to see all these answers of most people preferring <laughs> unique destinations. So um, if you are in the app, go ahead and comment below. Let me know if you're already inside of this community. I'm curious if anybody in here is already a part of it. Uh, here's some other elements of what's happening inside of the community. We have members, so everybody gets their own profile. Like I said, we have these topics, and then we also have these events that happen. So every Wednesday, we do a community Instagram Live, which you can hop on um, and be a part of it. Hey, Andy, I'm going to give you, here you go. Here's the link to check it out. Go ahead and click here. Um, that's, that's where you can go check out the rest of the stuff. I'm going to walk you through it. But if you want to jump ahead and check it out, there you go. Um, so um, what's also cool is because we have such a diverse audience, uh, everybody kind of groups into these different groups. So this is a few of the interests that we found. But we have arts, creativity, community impact. You know, um, we have James here. He's, he's in food, education, entrepreneurship, fitness, and health a really cool uh, group of people. And then every month we cover what's called our essential six. So we jump into the essential six uh, for focusing on how to move forward. So this came from our guide that we released last year. And, and we realized that all of these are the foundation of what it means to live a great story. So every month we focus on these. Um, and then we keep people really engaged and communicating. We really just want to connect people through this do this app uh and it happens through like polls questions posts this is one that went up yesterday um uh this month's theme is about pursuit and so like we see a lot of people here who are either um this is actually filled out it's cool to see now with a bunch more people filling it out um, but it's interesting to see everybody and what they're interested in uh, and then every monday we also feature people within the community so you get to know kind of more in depth articles about uh, people who are blazing their trail and making it happen and they're really in-depth long form uh, articles that help you learn from people in the community who are on their trail and, and really get to know people that are part of the action. So you know usually uh, a product like this is you know the access is a, usually a monthly fee right so Usually this is about a $44 to a $99 per month um, value. Uh, we have resources. We have podcasts coming out. We have videos, um, this member database of people from across the country. The total value of this is usually um, about $449. Mm -hmm. And so um, now, um, and, and also, but today I want to invite you into the community and the total bonus value, if you sign up for the community today, um, I want to hop on a call with you so we can hop on a 30 minute call. I want to get to know your story. I want to get to know more of what you're about. And I also, if you sign up today, I want to give you a 50% off um, promo to the Live a Great Story conference. Now, obviously the, the conference is a little bit tricky right now with the coronavirus, um, but we're, we're in this, the beginning stages of figuring it out. Uh, and then also on top of that, I want to give you 50% off of Fuel My Fire. And so I'm going to talk about the Fuel My Fire in a second. But altogether, this, the value of this, of the bonus value for signing up for the community today, um, it's, it's about $400. It's about $399. Uh, but really, all of this is thanks to the people in the community. Live a Great Story has been you know, on this mission over the last five years 
to inspire people, but it's because of people inside of this group and people inside of our, uh, inside of our social media, people that have rocked shirts. You know, a lot of us have found live a great story through stickers or buttons. Um, and that's what this community is all about. And so being a part of this, it's really giving you access to all these inspiring people who are going to inspire you to keep moving forward in your story. Also, you know, I want to give you a money back guarantee because the, the live a great story community, if, you, if this is not for you, I don't want you to feel like this is, you know, that you committed to something that's not for you. Uh, and so if for some reason it isn't no questions asked money back, if, if the community is not for you, um, that's just part of who we are. We only want people who are really excited about their story, who are really excited about moving forward, connecting with other people. So usually this would cost, like I said, we have that total value. I'm going to give you the bonus value. And usually this is probably about a $900,000 product. Um, but for a limited time, we're rocking with $19 access for founding members. And so this is something that we've rolled this out. We want to get this started with the right people. And so um, for the founding member access, we're rocking with $19. So if you go ahead and click through, um, it's, you're going to see that, that fee. And also, if you sign up today, we're having a group call like this one on Sunday, but we're doing it with the community. So actually, everybody's going to hop on camera. Everybody's going to be sharing. You're going to get, um, it's going to be part of a big room, but then we're going to divide into smaller groups. So you're going to get some really cool one-on-one -on -one time with about two to three other people inside of the community to learn more about what they're doing, to learn who they are and to connect with some of the members in this community. So if you sign up today, you're gonna to get access to that member exclusive call. Um, so like I said, this is, if you go to livegreatstory.com, I'm dropping the link in here, click on this link, it's gonna take you to this page uh, and it's gonna share a little bit more about the community. Now you're gonna create an account, it's super simple. You can sign up with Facebook or LinkedIn um, and make your account, you're gonna get your own page uh, it's going to you know, prompt you to sign up with your email. You're going to hit this. This is, once again, that $19.99 founding members price. Uh, so you can just go ahead and sign up, grab that limited time. We're not going to have this forever. It's most likely going to turn into a subscription or, or kind of a, a, a more of a bigger commitment. Um, and then you're going to get inside. So once you sign up, you're going to fill this out. You're going to see this is our all of our welcome details. So uh, we have the why we built this, a little bit more of the foundation, how people have found Live a Great Story. You're going to learn um, kind of some of the details and then go ahead and answer that question of what does Live a Great Story mean to you. Uh, so maybe you're thinking, I don't have time for this, right? This is like another thing that is, is going to take time. I know a lot of us have time restrictions, but the cool thing about this community is that it's designed to fit into your life as needed. It's an app. It's kind of like an inspiring social media app. So whenever you need a boost of inspiration, you can hop on, you can read stories, you can connect to people. There's direct messages. You can be a part of it. And there's really no time commitment that's going to take so much of your time. Um, and really it fits into your life as needed. You can come and go once you're a part of the community, you have a lifetime access. So you can be in and out, you can take a break, you can um, come in for a burst of inspiration or, um, you know, or hop in and stay in as active as you want. We have people that are checking in every single day, commenting, liking, sharing stories. Um, or maybe you're thinking, I'm already living a great story, right? Maybe you're out there doing this, but I want to share this comment from Scott, who's a member here. Uh, he just shared this a couple of days ago. He says, um, I, for, I thought Scott was crushing it. He has an awesome story. We're going to be featuring him here pretty soon. Um, but he shared this the other day. He said, I'm not doing it from, from engaging and being a part of this. He said, I learned I'm not doing enough to live the life I'm capable of. I'm super happy, but I'm wasting my potential. Seeing other people's comments, stories, and experiences is lighting a fire. He, uh, and, you know, I was surprised to see this because I was like really inspired by Scott and how he turned his life around. And like, he's been doing a lot of hikes and a lot of cool things. But to see this from him just shows you that even if you are already living a great story, there's so much more opportunity to scale up and keep accomplishing your potential. Um, and so maybe you're thinking, I don't know if I'll fit in. I'm not part of this group. Um, I want to share something. This is a uh, part of the testimonials that, um, or this is part of the fuel my fire 
And so I want to share, um, I want to share this with you because this is a really cool, um, we just wrapped up the fuel my fire. Uh, I'm going to hop back on here. So fuel my fire was this, um, eight week intensive where we met once a week with people from the community to connect, to share and really find a lot of the stuff that we've been working on that clarity, focusing on that alignment, a lot of those things. And so, um, we just finished it up and I put together this video from, uh, from the community of the, some of the responses that we had from fuel my fire. So I'm going to go ahead and share this with y'all because it's just really cool to see like firsthand the power of the community and what can happen when you get a bunch of like-minded people together. Um, so go ahead, let me bring this open real quick. Um, these are, this makes me, this is one of the coolest things. Uh, I love, love sharing this video um, or watching this video. So check it out. I found my inner spark. This group has been totally about confidence for me. Clarity came from just kind of, you know, the weekly missions and diving deeper and being more introspective. It's brought everything I've been thinking of to a forefront um, for years and it, it's put a focus on it. Consistency and being consistent help, has helped me move forward. People from different ages and that were really different, had different backgrounds, but we were all had the same mindset. A space where I can feel comfortable to dream and be held accountable to those dreams and be able to do the same for others. Now I feel like a little bit more confident where maybe I didn't have the confidence to do this on my own. Sharing my ideas and listening to theirs has given me, given me hope that there's point in you saying yes, it's exactly what needs to be done or the direction that you're going or hey, link up with this person because they're gonna love what's happening. It helps inspire me to progress more on my own, kind of doing the homework along the way and triggering little mindsets. Ask yourself, do you want to push your fire a little farther? To learn, to grow, to be challenged, to be held accountable, to make a difference. If you want to live a great story and, and really find some clarity, then this is totally worth it. I would absolutely recommend this to anyone who's taking uh, an opportunity to better their lives. I didn't know, I was kind of insecure, not sure how I felt about it, but thought, well, why not? Well, it turned out to be a very exciting journey. Just commit, just go for it. Uh, because the worst thing that can happen is you meet cool people and then that's the end. Uh, but the best that could happen is you meet cool people and then that's just the beginning. I love that last part uh, Anthony said, he's like, uh, the worst thing that happened is you come in and meet some cool people, uh, but the best thing, and that's the end. And then, but the best thing that can happen is you come in and meet some cool people and that's just the beginning. And that's totally such a realization of, of what the community is all about. Cause there's so much potential here to connect with people and to see where it goes. Uh, so I want to hop back in and keep sharing this. Um, so if you do sign up today, you're actually going to get 50% off the next Fuel My Fire. So we're going to be running this back um, starting in April. And that's a really cool one, uh, two month, eight week process of connecting people once a week. We hop on video calls and we chat um, and really work through a lot of the stuff, the clarity, um, finding your fuel, what's your spark, um, figuring out a game plan, accountability, and, and it ends up being this inspiring connection with a lot of like-minded people who are on very similar journeys of wanting to live their own great story. So once again, if you go here to liveagreatstory.mn.co, you can sign up and you're going to get all of those bonuses. Uh, I actually want to give a shout out to Andy. Andy just signed up. So this is super cool, Andy. I'm, I'm stoked for uh, you joining this action. Uh, so thank you so much for joining. I can't wait to connect um, and learn more about the shoot you a video here in a second to, uh, to connect. But, um, thank you so much for tuning in. This is, uh, once again, live a great story is all about inspiring you to overcome your doubts, to tune into your story and really to be the author of your own story. And so, um, I just, this is, this is what it's all about. If you want to come be a part of this and come join the community, I would love to have you be a part of this, connect with other people. On Sunday, we're doing that group call, so definitely hop on uh, and come join this fast so you can be part of this live call that we're doing on Sunday. And uh, I just wanna say, does anybody have any questions real quick? Uh, if you have some comments, you can raise your hand um, or go ahead and comment here and ask some questions. 
Um, Bobby, thanks for the thumbs up. Um, some of the other things that are happening inside of the community, we do a live call um, or a live Instagram every week. So if you still have some questions and you want to connect with me after this at 3.30 here Central Time, we're going to hop on Instagram and talk about that. Um, we're also doing more member profiles. We're going to do uh, webinars like this, but having featured speakers who are coming in who want to share about their story uh, that want to add value. They're really inspiring people who I'm going to be interviewing and, and kind of sharing what they're working on. So that's happening. Uh, and then we're going to be also releasing more tools and resources through all this. So how to build better relationships, health, how to move forward in your business. We're going to have parts of that happening and just more action in general. And so, um, you know, this is really the beginning of the, the, this community, I'm super excited to have announced this. It's really fresh, brand new, and we're gonna be rolling out more and more as it comes. So grab your founding member um, price because it's definitely gonna go up and especially you're gonna get a lot of those bonuses if you sign up today. Um, but just wanna say thank you everybody for being a part of this and joining this action. Come tune in to the next time, more, more action happening across the board, but go ahead and sign up and I'll catch you inside of the app. Cheers.